Welcome back to Live at 9, and deer season is now upon us. And there are some new things that uh, we need to think about with deer season if you're going to hunt this season or if you just want to learn about wildlife. Tell us about the deer population currently because there seems to be an issue with overpopulation. Uh, well, Blake, uh, across the majority of the state, we're looking at a herd of about 1.6 million statewide, and that is a record high deer population for our state. So not everywhere has too many deer, but a lot of places do. And what happens when there is too many deer? Because well, I know people like to look at them and they're pretty right. and, and all those things, but it, for your guys' sake, that is actually a concern in some areas. It is a concern because too many deer cause, well, they cause some problems. They cause problems with drivers. Uh, Mississippi now ranks number six in the country for the likelihood of hitting a deer. Uh, and they cause a lot of damage to crops and gardens and such. So, uh, but it's kind of too much of a good thing. So they're so important to our state. Yeah, so now you guys are asking hunters to do what? We would like them to exercise their bag limit. So uh, most hunters in the state harvest about one and a half deer on average. So they shoot one or two deer. Um, what we're asking is that hunters within the, the legal bag limit shoot an extra deer if they are not reaching their bag limit. So. And I'm sure there's some people at home that are going, oh, no, not the deer. And you're saying, well, it is actually better for the state of Mississippi for Certainly. the population. And, and you don't want it to get too low or too high. That's right. We try to manage it at a, at a level that's appropriate and sustainable. And it's such a wonderful, sustainable resource. You know, last season, hunters harvested around 300,000 deer in the state of Mississippi. That's almost 18 million pounds of venison, Blake, that went to Mississippi families. So how important is that? It, right. I mean, it, it is feeding some families. Yeah. Safety now with deer hunting season. It's one of the big things that people talk about, right? I mean, you're dealing with weapons that can you hurt, are. Hurt, hurt somebody. But you're saying that it, it, it can be safe, but you got to follow the rules. you got to follow the rules. You know, we have a hunter, hunter education program that every hunter before getting a license has to go through a hunter education program. And then they can purchase a license, remind people that are hunting to do that. But once they are certified through our hunter ed, they can buy a hunting license. And by the numbers, hunting's safer than golf, Blake, by almost what? a 300% margin. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That, that, that's interesting, Safe, safer than golf. I guess, what are some of the biggest concerns you have for hunters this season? So, we want them to get out in the woods. We've got a thriving deer population. If you're a driver, you know, you need to be careful because there are a lot of deer on the roadways, uh, so pay attention. But as far as hunters, be safe, get out there, enjoy, bring some locally, uh, local venison home to the family. Is there any concern that people ask you each season of, question that I guess comes up every single year like before they get started um well people have a lot of questions where, where on can what's I go legal, where can I go you know we got well over a million acres of public land in the state of one, Mississippi one million that's right that wow. people can go hunt on all our wildlife management areas that we operate they can hunt all of them for a $15 uh, permit one permit allows you access to 52 wildlife management areas. So just recapping what we just talked about, the deer population, is this like abnormally high? It's been slowly trickling upwards and we're just a little higher than our previous record, which was around the year of early 2000s. And it's just been gradually inching up. So we're not asking for a lot. We're just asking hunters to harvest about as many deer as they were 10 years ago. And there's a, a certain amount that they're allowed to have. That's right. Most of the state has a bag limit of eight, three bucks and five does. That varies a little in Southeast and extreme Overall, the average hunter is only shooting one or two. So we're just asking them if they're not reaching that bag limit to take one more this year.